Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and today I'm going to be talking wallets. Uh, these are three of the four wallets that I currently own. I got a new wallet in the mail that I got to test out today that I'm going to do kind of an overview on, not really a review, but a first impressions. And uh, first off, we got the le traditional leather wallet. This is a fossil. It's a good wallet. It tends to be a little fat because of this ID uh, uh, fold. I don't know if you'll call this a trifold or a bifold. It's more of a bifold, but it actually folds t uh, three times. Um, but um, it, it tends to stay a little bit black. I mean, thick. But it's a traditional black uh, leather billfold. Go, very uh, versatile. You can be. You can use it formally. You can use it more casually. Um, you know, depending what you have going on. Uh, not necessarily the kind of wallet that I want to take out in the woods uh, and possibly get stuff on. Um, don't necessarily want to take any wallet out in the woods and get stuff on it. But um, this is more of an urban wallet. We have the Maxpedition Bravo. This is a. Uh, what is it? A ballistic nylon? No, not ballistic nylon. Some kind of nylon wallet, um, and uh, denier or whatever you want to call it. Um, what I really like about this wallet is that it's really thin, has plenty of organization, ID uh, um, window, and um, it's very thin. And it's a nylon wallet without Velcro. I really hate Velcro. To me, it just screams uh, uh, juvenile and I really don't like them. So I'm really happy with this wallet. I'm definitely gonna keep this wallet even though I'm not currently using it. This is more of a wallet that I see being used with an outdoorsman. Uh, something that's uh, rugged but um, won't like dry out when um, getting constantly soaked and drying, you know, getting, getting wet and dry uh, multiple times. It's just very rugged and I really like it. This is the last wallet that I've been using before getting this new one. This is a Tyvex uh, Mighty wallet made by Dino Mighty. Uh, what's really cool about this wallet is that you can get custom prints of the photos that you have that you take onto the wallet. You can print your own wallet with your own photography. It has plenty of uh, organization. You got a pocket here, pocket here, pocket right there, pocket right here. And you get two billfold uh, pockets for large and small bills. The big complaint with this wallet is that uh, uh, it gets patina very quickly. Uh, about six months and this wallet's looking pretty ugly, just like this. But it's very thin, it's still very functional. It's impossible to rip. Um, so it still functions just fine, it's just really, really ugly. And I want something that's more visually uh, interesting than this. This wallet, when brand new, is a very good conversation starter because you have your own photography on it. It's made out of paper. Good conversation starter, which Lord knows I need a good conversation starter because I suck at small talk. I can get on a stage and do, I can act, I can do speeches. But when it comes to small talk, I'm just not that good at it. So um, I like something that can help me uh, perform small talk. Um, so I really like this wallet. It's really, really cheap uh, for a custom wallet. But it just gets a heavy patina very, very quickly. And it gets really ugly. So I'm not carrying that wallet anymore. This is what I'm carrying. This is the Armatus Carry. Um, this guy makes Kydex sheaths, holsters, and uh, wallets. Um, this is actually a Cryptek camouflage called Neptune. It's an aquatic camouflage, something that you would use when spear fishing. Um, and um, I have a, a kind of an interesting theory on camouflage wallets. I generally hate them. Not because they don't look cool, but because when you drop them, they're very hard to find. This guy also makes wallets from a uh, hex cam, um, uh, a Kydex, which is an awesome camouflage. Like if I was still hunting, I'd love that camouflage to hunt in, but I don't want it on my wallet because I will lose it. But this is such a different color than your average uh, camouflage uh, that uh, is. It's relatively high vis when you drop it, even though it's a dark blue. But um, you can carry your cash in the strap. 
uh, like a money clip, which you can remove easily, or you can uh, carry your cash in the wallet itself. Uh, the only problem is that the cards don't want to come out when you have uh, wads of cash in there. So generally I like to keep the cash in the band and then that allows the cards to slide right out. Um, um, this is the uh, XL uh, Kydex wallet. Cost around $45 for this pattern. Um, and uh, I like it because it's visually interesting. It's not something that you normally see someone carrying as a wallet. And uh, I, if history's taught me anything, I'm really interested to weird, obscure, rare, uh, strange things. Like when it comes to gun collecting, I like the M6 Scout. I like old school guns from the 60s, 50s, 40s. I like old antique guns. Uh, I like the old style guns uh, as opposed to the new polymer um, uh, AR-15 platforms type of stuff. Uh, I'm drawn to that kind of thing. Um, so this wallet, I was drawn to it because it was different. Um, I'll tell you, this is not really a review, it's more of a initial impressions. I've carried this for one day so far. And it is a very rigid wallet. It's about as thick as this uh, trifold or bifold. Um, it's a little bit thicker, especially with that button. But um, it's almost the same width, at least from this end. Um, it's rigid. So you're definitely going to feel it when you're sitting on a hard sub uh, surface, like a wooden chair or a bar stool. Uh, although it's the width allows it to migrate to the outer side of your pocket where you're not sitting directly on it at some points. Uh, I've sat on this on cushioned uh, seats like a booth in a restaurant in a riding lawnmower and it's relatively comfortable it's just you know you know it's there. Um, these two wallets are relatively invisible when you're uh, wearing them because they're soft, they're thin, and they conform to the human body. This doesn't. Uh, this is going to be a hit or miss thing to a lot of people, having a rigid, minimalist style wallet, uh, especially one that is as thick as this. They make a thinner version of this that, what I, that I'm very interested in getting, and I'd really like to get that thin one before I make a review on this one. I'd like to do a double fe feature review if possible. But... Um, yeah, it's interesting. To me, it's very visually in interesting. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the video. Uh, this is what I'm going to be carrying. This isn't going to be an EDC video. I have one of those later on in the month. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm carrying. And uh, I wanted to show it to you. Um, again, I got the hat to match it. Um, this is actually a fishing apparel company that um, is using the Cryptek camouflage. That's the name of the company that makes this camouflage is Cryptek. And they have, they have a, uh, marine or aquatic style camouflage. And then they have a terrestrial style camouflage. Like they have the Neptune. They have the Typhoon. They have uh, Nomad. Uh, Mandrake, I think is that what, what one of them is called. Uh, so they have many different versions. Uh, this company also has uh, solid colored wallets. It also has hex cam camouflage, which, which hex cam camouflage, like if I'm still hunting, I would definitely have it. But um, this is also a good camouflage pattern if, if you have terrestrial colors. But um, you can find them in blaze orange. He also makes them in uh, Tiffany blue if, you, if you're into that. Um, I just want to give this company a shout out and show you what I'm carrying uh, here currently. So I hope y'all have a great day. I'm Asatsu5 and I'm out.